What if you could activate yourself in ways that could see you fulfilling your wildest dreams? What if you could tweak just a few things in your life that would drastically change your momentum and cause an avalanche of inner peace, joy and wonderment in your existence? What if you had the power to live in a world where you flowed in ease and grace, expressing your true nature and purpose? Could you live in massive abundance, attracting everything you need with little effort in states of glowing inspiration? What is holding you back from experiencing all that you desire in life? It is simply programming. Fear and limitation were states of mind accumulated or picked up as a child. They were modelled to you, energetically transferred, shared through your DNA or cellular memory. Those states of fear and limitation are not you. They are not who and what you are. They are programs, and you have the power to live beyond those limiting emotions. Would you like that? Would you like to live in a place of consistent gratitude and love for yourself and everyone you encounter, while being exceptionally productive, achieving and accomplishing mind-blowing results? Two things need to happen for you to make manifest the most extraordinary life that is available to you. Firstly, understand that your life, the world around you, your relationships, your state of abundance and health are all created from beliefs you have. And the kicker is that all of your fears, limitations, concerns, doubts and worries were first created by a child's mind from a child's perspective. All of your ideas about yourself and the world you live in were created in the first seven years of your life through the programming you received from parents, society, religion and the media. These ideas went into your tiny mind based on the perception and the emotion you had in that moment. Ever since you were that little small person, when you were two or four or six, you have been recreating these ideas through a subconscious state. Now as that child, the only things that matter is being loved and feeling that your needs are met. We create the entirety of our reality based on how we perceived these things as a child. And the most amazing thing is that it doesn't even have to be a particularly destructive or abusive upbringing. Of course, that is going to bring about more developed beliefs, but they all have similar stems. After seeing hundreds of clients with a variety of life issues, including abundance, health, purpose, love, etc., 90% have a fundamental belief that I am not enough. This belief has many layers of surface beliefs that relate, but deep down at the core, many feel that for whatever reason, they are not enough. Obviously, abusive and dysfunctional parenting will establish this limiting belief in a child, but it can also come about by a seemingly healthy childhood. Your parents could have been excellent, but the birth of a younger sibling or moving house and leaving all your friends, or being in a car accident, or crashing your bike, or falling, can all lead to the same result of this belief that I am not enough. For example, as the eldest, you were used to all of your needs being met. You had all the attention and love you needed. Life was great. Then suddenly, you had a sibling. Your world is now completely changed. There may have been a feeling that you are not loved as much, that you have to compete for attention in whatever way you choose to do that. You may have been expected to set aside your emotions, 
desires or inspiration to consider something or someone that was deemed more important than you. The same is true for second and third siblings. Each comes to their own set of limiting beliefs based around the mind of a child who simply wants to feel love and be accepted. When the conclusion you come to with your tiny mind is repeated in any way, it forms into a belief. And from that point on, you are creating your reality based on a thought and feeling that you are not loved, lovable or enough just as you are. Through deep introspection, meditation or assistance from a healer or hypnotherapist, you can dive into the subconscious. In a child work, hypnotherapy and healing core beliefs can transform these outdated, dysfunctional perceptions of reality. Additionally, increasing your awareness by asking your intuition to show you where and when these programs started can give you insight. It is not necessary to blame and shame others but to accept and understand that this is the way you chose to perceive the situation with your little mind. The belief is not you. It is a program you have been exposed to or picked up or learned. The I am not enough program. Now as an adult, you can choose to rid yourself of these programs that don't serve you and tune into perceptions that are going to enhance your life. The second understanding that serves you to make manifest the life of your dreams is that our relationship with the divine masculine and feminine is related to our mother and father in physical terms and determines the way we feel the Creator perceives us. This will determine the amount of abundance you think you deserve being worthy of blissful companionship and feeling valuable enough for the Creator to deliver the means for your dreams. You will determine if you can trust the Creator and the flow of life here. Do you have it all within you as an emanation of the Divine Presence or do you lack something? As a tiny baby in the mother's womb, a connection to the infinite was known. As the soul incarnating into a human body, that essence knows of its divinity. It knows of its oneness with all of life. It trusts its purpose and the process of life. The innate intelligence is just there. Then when we come into the 3D physical reality and we are told that we are not safe, that others can't be trusted, that life is hard and that things don't work out for us. We develop a perception of the world and most importantly of the Creator that is fear-based, riddled with trust issues and devoid of faith in the infinite intelligence that is working through all things, including us. We go from knowing our oneness and connection to the flow of life itself to feeling unsafe in the world not trusting a bigger picture of unity and having little to no faith in our place and purpose. To have a really happy, fulfilling life, as human beings, we have a fundamental need to belong to something greater than ourselves, to serve it and feel like we matter and we are safe. Many are stuck in feeling unsafe for so long that there is a myriad of stress-related diseases that plague Western society. Discover your true core beliefs surrounding your ideas of whether the universe, source or God loves you and is giving you all you need, paving a path for you to walk, listening and responding to you. This is closely linked to how we perceive these things about our parents. Did we feel loved and were they available? 
dealing with and transforming these dysfunctional beliefs comes down to a willingness and intention to practice developing and expanding your awareness of your thoughts as you think them. Develop a discipline where you go deep inside your feelings and make the necessary adjustments by understanding the truth. As you become aware of the deeper levels behind particular surface thoughts, you will come to see how your reality has been created in a way to personify your beliefs. As self-fulfilling prophecies, your beliefs get to a level of living where they create you and your life. When you understand how we have developed our perceptions of ourselves, how others see us and how we view the creator and the world, you can then make educated adult choices about what can stay and which programs must go. When your subconscious core beliefs match your dreams and visions, then manifestations will bounce into your life.